Hey everybody, Pastor Tim here with today's Devo. Here's a popular quote from Jesus. Do not judge others and you will not be judged, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use in judging is the standard by which you will be judged. You know what? It seems like everybody knows this verse, especially that first part. I mean, even people who don't believe in God's word quote this one little sentence and with all kinds of authority. Doesn't the Bible say, judge not that you be not judged? Yes, it does. They're quick to remind you. As if nobody ever has any comment on another person's behavior or confront them with biblical truth, even for the purpose of trying to be caring and helpful. Because that would be judgmental, right? Wrong. Listen. Part of being authentic as believers is admitting we're still in process. These words of Jesus don't give a categorical ban on evaluating people's actions. Instead, the context makes it clear. He was talking about the double standard where we expect behavior from others that we don't expect from ourselves. He was condemning the practice of picking at specks in other people's eyes when obvious logs are coming from our own. He said, hypocrite, first get the rid of the log in your own eye, then you will be, see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. But he wasn't saying we can't make discerning judgments based on others' actions. We just need to be sure that ours is the first person whose actions we're judging. Actually, a person's actions are among the few things we can judge. Jesus said in Luke 6.44, each tree is known by its own fruit. So, here are some things the Bible says we have no business judging. Number one, motives. We can never really know why people do what they do. Only God knows the heart. We don't even fully know our own hearts, much less somebody else's. Paul, in fact, warned us. So don't make any judgments about anyone ahead of time before the Lord returns. For he will bring our darkest secrets to light and will reveal our private motives. Then God will give to each one whatever praise is due. Judging people's heart motives is God's job, not ours, and he doesn't need any help with it. The second is appearances. We also can't make accurate judgments of people based on things like clothes they wear, the, the cars they drive, their jobs, or where they live. As God told Samuel, man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart, 1 Samuel 16, 7. Number three, Harsh judgments. Even when we do not need to make a judgment, call on our, someone's actions, our desire shouldn't be to bring the hammer down. Paul says that we all stand before the seat of God, Romans 14.10. Every delicate matter must be approached with maximum humility. Part of being authentic as believers is admitting we're still in process. All of us. Nobody has arrived. Even though life does require making judgments at times, doing it based on the fruit of our actions, we do so with humility. The life you spend the most time judging should be yours, always remembering that with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Be real about your own sin will temper the tone you take with others. That's what I have for you today. It's Pastor Out.